For many of us, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur are like going to the dentist. You know, it's something you know you should do, but you don't really want to. Today I'll share three quick tips for you to take the days of awe from the days of awful to the days of awesome. Taking a noisy car to the mechanic, going to the dentist, or going to the doctor to get a blood test. All of these things are scary because there's a little bit of pain involved at the time, but more than that, the stakes are really high. Things could get very serious very quickly. It's the same with the high holidays. You know, for most people, there's the pain of going to shul, and then you're basically sitting in a foreign film without subtitles for hours and hours on end. But over and above that, we feel like God's scary. And if we don't be good little boys and girls this year, better not pout, better not cry, God's gonna rain wrath down on our family. Who knows what's gonna happen? Here are three reframes I think will make all the difference. The first thing to realize is that God's not out to get you. The first 10 days of the month of Tishrei, from Rosh Hashanah to Yom Kippur, are like Jewish Black Friday. Personal growth is on special. Grand style, grand style, grand style. Where? In Brunswick and Futsgrave. Franco Cozzo. Yes, you can grow throughout the year, but choosing your goals and writing your plan and figuring out the resources you need and perfecting yourself is much easier than any other time. So don't get scared, get excited. Kids will play basketball for hours. You know, shin splints and they're exhausted and they fall over and graze their knees and none of it matters until you take away the ball. Once you take away the ball, and you say, play without the ball for 10 minutes. So they last two minutes and they look at you and go, this is boring. All the while that they've got their eye on the ball, they don't notice the effort. As soon as you take away the ball, all you notice is the effort. So that's the trick on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. If you're 100% clear about where you're going and what the journey is to get there, you can enjoy that journey. But if not, you're gonna sit there going, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? And the last thing is, don't be holy, be real. Right? Don't spend Yom Kippur apologizing for things you never planned to keep in the first place. Figure out what your real goals are, what it would take to go after them, and go after them. Think about what your real issues are. Think about what it would take to fix those, and go after those. And if you don't know what they are, Ask your friends and family. I'm sure they've heard you complaining about them over and over and over. The annual performance review might be a time for criticism, but it might also be the right time to ask for a raise. With a little reframing and a little bit of preparation, you could make this Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur the most lucrative of your career. Mm -hmm.